Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys another build. Um, I know I said I was league starting with the two characters that I stated, but I'm going to be honest. I'll give a short little description about them. I think that they're pretty good league starters. I think that in SSF, the Berserker does need to use uh, Hemophilia gloves to kind of add some clear. I don't really have Hemophilias right now, so I'm staying away from that character. The Infernal Blow character feels good, but I'm going to be honest about it. It feels like an inferior version of any physical skill because we are currently playing a physical meta. If you're unaware, with the new physical patch, we have access to things like Flesh and Stone, Blood and Sand. You can link Flesh and Stone with Maim, which makes it a 28% reservation aura and increases your damage by 29% for physical that you could literally never have. Uh, on top of that, you also have access to Pride, which is another new aura that ramps up your physical damage by a shit ton. Um, so those together, plus the Cyclone reworks and just in general melee mechanic reworks, makes melee physical skills in an extremely strong spot right now. Uh, and I just didn't want to pass up the opportunity because as I level the Infernal Blow character more and more and more, I see what it lacks and I see what I can't really acquire, whereas physical builds can just get it on the tree. So for example, if you need Leech, you got Leech all over the tree physical. You've got Leech here, you've got Leech here, you've got fucking Leech right over here, you've got Leech over here. So, super excited for that. Um, so I want to tell you guys a little bit about the character. So, one thing is, if you want to play Cyclone, it's so fucking easy to progress. To give you an example of what I used to level, I started off with a limb split, which you can find as an axe. is a level 12 axe, or 13. I used limb split all the way until I crafted this rare weapon here at 23. Um, you don't have to have a weapon this strong, but I used this level 23 weapon all the way up until I used a Rigwald's Charge, uh, which is 44. From Rigwald's Charge, I went to Terminus Est at 51 up until I can use my Sinvictas at 60-something, and I actually waited till 75 because I thought it was that level, so or 72. Um, but yeah, so I'm playing a champion. Now, before I go into this champion, there's going to be a million questions on why you're not playing, etc., so I want to state something real fast. Cyclone is a skill that can be used by a wide variety of ascendancy choices. Each one offers a different type of pro versus a different type of con, Furthermore, some of them scale better with gear, some of them scale better without gear, some of them are made more for bossing, some of them are made more for mapping. So I am playing a champion. Other things you could play this as would be a Berserker, a Gladiator, and a Slayer. Um, you could also play it as other Ascendancies, but we're going to focus on champion. So, the main thing is, champion gives Master of Metal, which gives access, well, basically is full Impale build. So, we can currently get 7 stacks of Impale. Impale is something I never really played around with too much in the past, and being as I'm playing a full physical character, I really want to try out Impale. So, we've got 120% chance to Impale, unfortunately. I can't really lower my chance to Impale anymore, because if I don't pick up this cluster, I'm losing Impale effect, and if I don't grab this cluster, I'm losing Impale effect, and if I don't use a Dread Banner, I'm losing Impale effect. So we have a little bit over on the Impale, there's not much I can do there. There's also a Watcher's Eye you can get for Pride, which gives an extra two more stacks to Impale. Since we're already running Pride, that would only be a huge buff to us. Um, so, moving in with the next thing. Uh, with the character progression, it was super simple. I just branched out through here, went across, grabbed my Born to Fight, pick up your Constitution whenever you feel ready. Uh, next up, move down, grab your Brinksmanship, then from there, I moved down, started grabbing Forceful Skewering and Swift Skewering. Uh, after that, I grabbed Execution, well, I grabbed Wrecking Ball first, and then I left these alone. Um, and then you pretty much progress your tree how you feel is necessary. Damage wasn't an issue. Survivability wasn't an issue. So after grabbing Master of Metal, I decided I wanted to go for Fortitude. So I picked up Unstoppable Hero. Now, one thing to note is between Unstoppable Hero and Master of Metal, you actually get 2,000 armor. 2,000 armor is more armor than like most people have on their entire build. It's not a lot, but it's a good amount to scale when you can take into account all the percentage armor on the tree. So for example, you have like Bravery, 
uh, you have like the jug or the nodes right here. If you are coming up to devotion, you can also pick up Sanctum of Thought. Um, you also have Armor Mastery, which gives armor. You can knock off these two points, connect through here for four points to get like 25 all res and more armor. This all decides to stack up and favor Molten Shell really, really, really well. Uh, I haven't done the Molten Shell swap yet, but that's something I'm going to need to do. Another cool thing about Cyclone is because it's uh, the new mechanics, you can use instant cast skills while cycloning. So you can pop your guard skill while you're actively cycloning like this, which is really, really cool. Um, now with the build, I have not picked up this leech yet because leech is currently bugged and doesn't display properly and I don't want to invest four points into a bug right now, so I'd wait, rather wait for them to fix it. I don't have any mono leech at all, but if you want to get mono leech in the game early, you can use these gloves called Slither Pinch. They give 0.4% uh, mono leech and that's all you'll ever need. Um, and then uh, I'm also just using a jewel right now for plus two mana gain on hit. If you're playing SSF, you don't have access to this stuff. You do have access to Revelry. It's two points and it gives you mana gain on hit and it gives you a ton of mana, so that'll help a lot with your sustain. You'll notice on my character, I may go Oom a few times. It's because I'm literally playing my whole build just on the mana gain on hit. So here's the tree with what we've got now. I decided to go for axes just because I have this weapon already. Um, if you don't want to use axes, you can see you can use swords pretty well. Um, you've got the sword cluster down over here. It's kind of far away, but that's the plus one weapon range. You got the weapon range cluster here on razors, or sorry, here on blade master. Um, we're working our way now into slaughter, and then we're going to try to get up to 5k HP. I'll go do Uber Lab, and then we pretty much won't need damage for a while. So to go back to the ascendancy choice, uh, real fast. The reason why I pick champion is because. Master of Metal, uh, Unstoppable Hero, which gives us attack speed, increased attack damage while you have Fortify, stun immunity, um, so it's a pretty decent node overall. I was originally going to go for Fortitude, I may be changing my decision a bit. I know a lot of people say that this node is useless, but it's really not. When you're streaming and you're paying attention to your chat and you look away for a second and your Fortify falls off and you die for it, I mean, nobody plays perfect. Don't even kid for a second to say that you play perfect and you have Fortify up 100% of the time, because that's just not true. Um, but I decided to skip it for now since Cyclone does favor a kind of fast playstyle, uh, and it's pretty easy to keep up Fortify. My only concern is like when looting or leaving a map and jumping back in again. Uh, but I just decided to use Fortify on my main link, and my damage doesn't really feel bad at all. So I decided on Inspirational, a rather interesting node, and let me explain why. So first off, you get 20% increased effect of non-curse auras from your skills. I believe that this affects your Dread banner, which I think... I think scales the impale quality on it, could be wrong, or the impale effect. Um, it makes it so that your dread banner is free, which means that we are able to run um, flesh and stone. Remember that with flesh, we have it linked with maim. Uh, we're also able to run blood stance, which is another multiplier to our damage. We run the dread banner for free, and then because the dread banner is free, we also get to run um, we also get to run uh, Pride Aura. If I don't have Pride Aura on, I'm gonna have like fucking 5%, like 5% mana, which means I need reservation. So this is a real nice like budget option. Now, even in the case where the Impale effect doesn't work, you still will get the ability to run the extra aura because it costs nothing. You get the banner stages when you place it. I don't really think that helps me too much, but it's something that I may use later. You do get the life regen, and you also get 12% movement speed. Movement speed is great for pretty much any build you ever play. So overall, it's still a very nice quality of life now. Uh, so for Uber Lab, I'm probably getting first to strike, last to fall, because you get permanent intimidation, which is another 10% damage increase. You also get the gimmick of adrenaline, which basically says if you enter low life, you will instantly heal 25% of your maximum life uh, and cleanse all ailments. So the, basically the way I see this is you get shotgunned, but you get shotgunned by like seven little hits. This could potentially save your life from getting shotgunned. Won't save you from a one shot directly, could technically save you from getting shotgunned. So this is something I'm definitely looking into. Uh, and I told myself basically, what would save me more? Permanent fortify or first to strike, last to fall? And I'm leaning towards this. So this is why I'm going with here. So as for our links, I've got Impale Support, Pulverize, Cyclone, Fortify, Brutality. 
Uh, I am leveling an infused channeling, but I've been told that the infused channeling is bugged right now, uh, and you don't get the less damage from hits matching the element type or the tag, so we're not using it. Also, gearing for intelligence is a pain in the ass right now, but this is something we are going to definitely work towards. With that being said, my gear is not really super good, um, but I just want to jump in and show you guys a quick map. So I've got a simple little crater here. Character's level 74. We're going to go run. Yeah, here we go. Also, I will be dropping the Onslaught Flask once I pick up Slaughter, because I won't really need it anymore. Hello, Mops. Where are you? Come back for Zana after. You can see that even though I'm not playing a Slayer, the AoE is still pretty fine in my opinion on the character. Uh, I do believe we're still maybe getting one more weapon range, maybe from Cyclone, maybe not. We're at six stages actually, I don't think so. I'm, I'm more than happy with the AoE as it is though. I'm just gonna leave the Legion alone over there. Okay. We have Zana. Ooh. No Fizz Reflect. Okay. Good. Gotta explain the MTX. Oh yeah, so... If there was one thing I could take back with this character, is that I renamed- I named myself Pox Spin, but I would rather name myself uh, Wildberry Pop-Tart, because I feel like I look like the Wildberry Pop-Tarts from like, you know, the early days of elementary school for me. Um, I got that nice uh, blue and purple MTX going, so... freezing my internet was fucking up but at the same time like the servers have been freezing i'm actually really surprised they haven't frozen this video oh that stunned me wait didn't I oh i didn't get stunned i went out of mana never mind i was like how could i be stunned i had fortify on So getting a tiny bit of Mono Leech will fix everything on the character, 100%. Like, even just like 0.2% Mono Leech, I'm quite sure will fix it. Uh, and that's not too difficult at all because you can like craft that on gloves, you can get it on, on uh, jewels, you can uh, get it on an accessory. Unlike with elemental builds where you have to use Warlord's Mark or <laughs> something a lot more tedious. No, 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 I didn't mean casters, I meant elemental, like my Infernal Blow character, guys. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. I mean, like, conversion builds that go full Chain elemental. Is pretty fun as well. Chainhook Zerker. 
Haven't tried chain hook yet. Two times loyalty. Definitely have to say, having Arcane Surge on my dash and Steel Scan makes it feel a lot more fluid without the Mono Leech at the moment, so it's a pretty nice band-aid. So that's pretty much how the character clears maps. Uh, to give you guys a little rundown on what the uh, actual character is going to look like. Now, one thing before I state, I'm not going to link a path of building for this. I'll just link my skill tree. If you want to import my build, I'm going to show you really easily how to do it. You click import, you click pox as the name, you hit start. From there, you're just going to look for the character called pox spin. From pox spin, all you got to do is click import tree import items and you're done you don't ever have to worry ever again so this is what the character looks like at pretty much like max for the most part um it's it's 207 life if i clip off this at 112 so this is level 90 it's 187 life which is like a tad bit on the low side uh but at the same time like it's hard to tell really like what i need since i haven't really played the character um, it does get one jewel, uh, two jewels, three jewels, uh, along with having an option for a fourth jewel here. Um, you do get the good weapon range, you do get good armor scaling. Uh, since you have armor scaling, you have access to, uh, for example, Molten Shell, like we were talking about. Uh, Molten Shell is a huge, huge defensive buff. Um, if you want to go the more armor route, you can just go like this instead. Um, so that's nice as well. You do get really good leech on the build. Um, since we get access to Hemo down here. If you don't want to go the Hemo route, you can cancel this off, although this is nice because of the 20 dexterity, since we don't get too much dex on the tree. We also get quite a bit of strength from Utmost Might along with like Path of the Warrior, so the life, uh, the strength scaling, scaling percent strength will actually boost your life up quite a bit. You can see yourself hitting 6.5k, 7k plus life for sure with this character, um, assuming you're using a Valley or a Combs. Uh, and then of course, like I said earlier, you can get more life depending on like what you sort of respec out because you do have the access to getting like the life cluster here and the life cluster here which puts you at 227 and you could cut out some damage nodes wherever you feel you don't need them um, it's just kind of situational at that point and you have to figure out like what you want to do whether you're playing hardcore you're playing softcore etc and then of course for the build itself even as a champion you've got different nodes you can go uh, if you decide to go conqueror this is reduced damage taken um, whenever you've taunted an enemy, which will be all the time. You also get that life regen, which is pretty good for keeping up blood rage. You get worthy foe, which makes it so you can go crit really easily. Uh, if you really want to go crazy damage and you to 20% uh, increase damage, which is uh, a multiplier. You've got first to strike, last to fall, which is the permanent intimidate, which means you don't have to use intimidate gloves. Um, and yeah, champion overall is a very, very, very flexible ascendancy, which is what I like about the character. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you're curious on what the MTX is, it's the Stalker weapon effect uh, that I'm using with the Blue Cyclone, uh, which gives it the nice blueberry Pop-Tart, or wildberry, sorry. But yeah, I'm out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.